Infrared photography is very popular and produces a dreamlike effect. It takes a little bit of work to make a digital camera capable of capturing the infrared spectrum of light, but you can simulate the infrared effect on some images with Lightroom. Let's see how. First of all, the infrared effect is most pronounced on images that contain a lot of green and yellow foliage. If your image doesn't have these colors present, the technique I'm about to show you is ineffective. Let's take a look at this image here. It should work fine. So the first thing I do in the basic pane is convert it to black and white. And then I come down to the black and white pane here. And I'm going to move the yellow and the green sliders to the right. So that's kind of the basic ingredients, the basic mix for the infrared look. And then I'm going to go through and tweak these settings a little bit. Dark sky is oftentimes a result of shooting infrared, so I'm going to move the blue slider over. I don't think purple and magenta will do much. No, I'll just leave those there. Orange, I think I'll play with that one. Yep, there we go. The orange gives me some nice effects too. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Now, I've already moved my blue slider as far to the left as it'll go, but I still want that sky a little bit darker. And I'll get that up here by moving to the histogram and clicking on the histogram and dragging it. Moving my black slider over, and now my exposure slider. Okay, so I'm darkening that sky a bit. If I want to even darken it more with more control, I'll go to my tone curve and use the target assist tool. Click and drag just on that area. The dark sky is really part of the infrared look. All right, there we go. So about as quick and simple as you can imagine for giving an image an infrared look. There's one last thing that I can do to make it even a little more realistic. I'm going to come into the effects pane and give it a little bit of noise, a little bit of grain, because that's one of the results of the infrared technique oftentimes is a kind of a grainy look. So let's crank that up. You're not going to be able to see that on this monitor until I blow it up. There we go. That's definitely closer to the infrared look. So you can do it the way I just showed, or you can come over here. And in Lightroom, there's a preset, an infrared preset right here. It's a starting point. Well, let's do it. So you can see what it did with this image. You'll still need to go in and go into the black and white mix, as I did, and adjust the values here and your exposures. Clearly, the exposure settings are going to be very important when you use that preset. And there's also a preset will automatically add some of that noise or film grain that I showed you earlier. It's a good starting point, but you don't need to use that preset. It's so simple to do it the way I showed you. Just work with the yellow and green mix, put those to plus 100, and then play around with the other sliders to get the look that you want. And this technique is not a perfect substitute for using an infrared-enabled camera, of course, but for some images, it does a pretty good job.